Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis uh, for today. Uh, I will go for our cross asset list. Uh, I will cover coffee market, WTI, US 100, USD Japanese Yen, British Pound versus US Dollar, Euro Dollar, US 30, Gold Market, Dollar Index and Bitcoin versus US Dollar. I will do so by using our FX Centrum platform. So let's begin with the coffee market as always and um, see what we have here. So there was a breakout yesterday of the upper Bollinger Band and this can be an early sign um, of the, for the upside continuation of the coffee market. But what we need to watch here is the level of at 197.75 because this is a critical resistance base in a daily time frame. And there will be a chance for a retest of that level and if we can see the breakout of that resistance there will be a potential for the even higher prices towards the 200 315 or even 205 mark we can see here the fast line we had a fresh bull cross on stochastic and its slow line is starting slowly uh, to slope to the upside just around that 30 level mark so this can be early sign of the breakout the upside on the coffee market if we speak about wti so still uh, short term mid term uh, we have upside environment slow line actually had a down um, more like a rejection of the 80 mark which is the extension or overbought area and the fast line is below the slow line and they're sloping to the downside that's not particularly good sign for the upside continuation and so far we have a consolidation in the last couple of days so i would like to see the breakout of either resistance at 8272 uh, to confirm potential rally or to confirm the rally towards 80 I would say 84 mark, which is the upper Bollinger Band, in case of the downside breakout of the 80.80 .80 or 80.60, there will be potential for the, for the downside moment towards the lower Bollinger Band and support area around 77, 70 mark. Again, the stochastic condition is not that great for the upside continuation, but of course that can change if we can see some strong uh, demand, so then the fast line can cross um, a slow line and the slow line can, can start to slope to the upside but so far consolidation and the downside sloping uh, fast and slow line in the stochastic oscillator. US 100 this is something that uh, I alerted yesterday on the trading idea for potential sell-off. Sell-off happened we had a rally towards upper Bollinger Band first but then we had a sell-off and market uh, actually reached our downside objective initial 18,230 actually went even to the let's place the horizontal line here so it went all the way down to 18,174 so again we had down close a natural pullback a few bars two bars two candles close uh, close below the lower Bollinger Band market reacted higher but again sideways consolidation it still looks that we we can have a potential down move towards the middle bollinger band and middle bollinger band at this point is around 1000 uh, 18150 uh, the low of this uh, up bar is around 18000 mark and the lower bollinger band support area around 17845 mark on the daily time frame, if we check stochastic oscillator, we can see basically that the slow line is sloping to the upside around 60, where the fast line is actually correcting at this point. So we have a more like a, a consolidation that is going on uh, because the fast line is sloping downside, the slow line is sloping to the upside, and we have mostly consolidation in the last couple of days with a potential for the, for the downside move based on this hourly development in the last couple of days. The next uh, symbol that I will cover is USD versus Japanese Yen. So let's take a look what we have here. Uh, still consolidation is going on. 152 such a key resistance for this uh, currency pair. Nothing really changed uh, since uh, our previous update yesterday. So break of 152 can be a good sign for a retest of 153 which is upper ball in japan break and hold above 152 and break and hold above below the 151 which is support area can be a good sign for the drop towards the middle ball in japan around 149.50 mark so 
uh, pay attention for potential uh, breakout of this consolidation because uh, we can see some bigger movement uh, in case of the breakout. And I think it just questioned the time when we'll see the breakout of this very tight consolidation in the last couple of days. In terms of the stochastic oscillator, we can see the slow line is all the way around 85. So it's sloping to the upside, but is more like extended at this point. The fast line is pretty much flat. And the uh, slow line is basically trying to catch that uh, fast line. So the further upside breakout, the 153 uh, or 152, this will be a pretty good sign for the 153 or even higher uh, prices on the USD Japanese yen. Definitely short-term trend based on the slow line as upside in the last two weeks. Having that in mind, the British pound versus US dollar had this uptrust bar, the down bar here. So it seems like the slow line is still not in the oversold area, fast line corrected, and seems like there is a chance for the lower prices in the pound dollar uh, towards the 1.2575 or even lower ball in Japan. That let's say around 1.2550 mark. And if we, let's take a look at the hourly time frame, you can see here that mark is actually breaking at this point lower Bollinger Band. So if we, can, if we can sustain this breakout for a couple of candles or have natural reaction after that, this will be a strong sign for the further downside continuation and the daily uh, candle to, to move lower. So pay attention to that uh, potential development. Similar to the euro dollar, we have the look at a slow line sloping to the downside around the 27 mark. Fast line just had a correction, but this rally here only made like a tail, like a selling tail, and we can see potential downside continuation. The euro 1.0790, 1.0755, and then we have a kilo from mid-February this year, around 1.0700 mark. We can see also that uh, Bollinger Bands are expanding, so volatility is again on the, um, on the currency pair. So we can see at this point that volatility really started to increase uh, like two weeks ago, and we have lots of those rotations, upper Bollinger Bands, so two standard deviation move and uh, rejection, and then so I like the volatility is there. The same thing with the pound volatility is still increasing. We can see by the spread of the upper and the lower Bollinger Band. This is where the volatility was contracting at this point. Uh, and this is when we start to increase volatility and there is a wider spread of the upper and lower Bollinger Band. Now let's take a look at the US 30 where we also have volatility. But what we had here is the update yesterday on the US 30, still key resistance around 39,910 mark, and uh, upper Bollinger Band at this point around 39,960 mark. We had an update, but so far we see, seems like there is a rate of change flip to the downside, so there will be a chance of potential down move towards the 39,415 or even middle Bollinger Band around 39,145. Now let's take a look at the hourly time frame. Again, we had a break of this con contraction, break and then a pullback, and then a pretty much climatic widespread of the widespread of the candle at this point and no follow through. This can result uh, a minimum middle Bollinger Band on the hourly to be on the test, if not uh, full rotation down towards this consolidation around 39,480 uh, 39, mark. This is how it looks like on the hourly time frame, so break of this contraction, but this will be the key about how the sellers will react and so far just a very tight consolidation it seems like we can have a, at least a pullback not the full reverse uh, day now let's speak about the gold market so gold market had expansion in volatility at this point and then we started contraction like a couple of days ago pretty heavy contraction so key resistance short term 2202 
and we have a twin swing high 20 22 22 slow line is still sloping to the downside where the fast line is just sloping to the upside trying to correct we have a potential flip uh, to the downside on the rate to change period too so this will be the critical to watch if market can really break and hold above 2202 and 2222 and hold above this can be a another potential bull uh, wave or bull um, environment so something similar like this might might happen but is that's not case in the last couple of days and we don't have that condition yet and stochastic is suggesting something else there will be the chance maybe even for some maybe consolidation and trading back and forth between this upper and lower Bollinger Band before the actual breakout so key support on the gold market short term 2145 and we have a lower Bollinger Band at yeah pretty much same like a 2145 so pay attention to this contraction is happening at this point and after the period of contraction there will be a period of expansion this is how um, the market uh, is functioning basically same thing here like after the period of contraction there was expansion that lasted for about five six days at this point same thing here after a period of contraction there, there was an expansion in this downside and then reversal to the upside but expansion volatility next market is a dollar index as i said we're breaking this uh, three day balance as you call uh, slow line is sloping to the upside and fast line is sloping to the upside there is a definite chance for higher price on dollar index upper bollinger band is set so far around 10470 and the swing high from uh, mid february around 10492 Again, volatility is increasing on the dollar. You can see that lower and upper Bollinger Band that we have a widening spread between them. If we take a look at the hourly time frame, we can see a breakout is happening right here. Uh, see, there was a contraction, more like a flat consolidation and breakout. So a very positive structure for the hourly, very uh, very good context in the daily time frame so seems like a dollar index can really increase um, in the power which can then affect of course euro dollar pound dollar to go eventually lower with the uh, also gold market potentially to go lower uh, if the dollar index will uh, resolve higher like potentially see at this point so we have a good condition for that and we have a bitcoin versus us dollar let's take a look at this one so daily time frame we still have a pretty flat bollinger band so we're not any expanding we're not contracting we have a flat 20 bar 20 bar moving average we have some short-term resistance at 71,730. Uh, all-time high around 73,800. And we have a lower Bollinger Band and support areas around 62,500 mark and 61,000 mark. Slow line is kind of flat. There's nothing spectacular, just around the 50 mark, which is another sign of consolidation in decision at this point. So any meaningful breakout of the key resistance, all time high and hold above will be a strong sign for the Bitcoin for higher prices. On the other side, the rotation back and forth uh, rotation lower towards the lower Bollinger Band can still be in the play. Our based on the hourly time frame, we had a down close and then there was a natural reaction higher towards the upper Bollinger Band. So I do expect more like a back and forth. So maybe even again some downside swing short term intraday to retest the lows and so on and so forth. So more like a consolidation and um, range development on this market. It'll be all for this um, FX Centrum daily market analysis, guys. Uh, please, if you didn't visit our website, fxcentrum.com, you can go and explore. And we have FXCTV. You can see our trading ideas, uh, different tutorials, technical analysis pretty much every day. We are updating, with covering those most liquid markets, a trading idea, at least one uh, trading idea per week. You can open account in just a few clicks and explore also our charting platform and uh, uh, feel free to register and at least try demo account 
if you like everything of course you can then go and open a live account that will be all for this video uh, have a good trading day and speak soon